We got water, baby. We got water. Woo! So lucky me, on this new farm project, uh, there's a river that runs by the garden. And that was one big reason why I choose to set up the garden here. And if you've seen some of my previous YouTube videos, uh, we've had water shortages here. And we've had at my home farm to redig the pond already like a couple of times. And so with this, I'm pretty set up. It has a dam, so the water is always level. There's always water. And we're pumping water from the river, which is legal. We, we have access to it. We can do it here. And then, but setting up the system from here all the way to the garden, which is about 500 feet further down, is a process. And so in this video, I'll show you all the steps of how we did things. So a few things about the irrigation setup here at the old mill. So different growers will have, you know, different ways to do this and different budgets to, to go about irrigation. But for me, uh, there's a few things that I wanted to do and not do. So I didn't want to have a gas pump because I didn't want to have to walk all the way to the river every time I wanted to water. That's, that's for me, that's too much downtime. That's too much walking around. And, you know, I want to be able to open and close a valve and, you know, water a bed, water a few beds, uh, open my drip system, perhaps put everything on a clock. And so for me, that equates to having an electrical pump and having everything under pressure. So the, the pressure is always on and I have a system for that. It's pretty, it's pretty common. And the other thing is I wanted to bury my irrigation pipes, my main lines, because I didn't want to have flat tapes, blue or green flat tapes all over the garden. People step on them. This is a garden that will have, you know, thousands of visitors every summer. So I wanted to bury the pipes. There's a main line going from the river all the way to my shed. And the shed is where I have the electricity that's wired to the pump. And this is where I'll have my expansion uh, balloon pump that's gonna regulate the pressure. So that, that's the main line going from the river to the shed. And then from the shed, the water is going through one main land all the way to one end of the garden and then it's, it's sectioning off two times. So it's like a big T going across, across here, across here, and across there. And so these main lines are buried and they connect all the different gardens with two valves per, per field block. So these are all the pieces that I have to do the system. So I have these valves, these will connect to the main line and then it's a quick cam lock connect. These are like fire hose connectors, really nice, easy to operate. And then it's gonna connect to the lines that will be the sprinkler lines. And I'm using two systems, the wobblers. I also have Dan mini sprinklers, micro sprinklers. Uh, I don't have them yet. I've ordered those, those I didn't get used. I'm buying them new. And I also have another coupler when I'm using uh, the drip tape system so these are set up you know these are these all connect so that's really that's really simple uh, these are flow rates uh, for the different irrigation system so for for the drip tape this is 12 psi otherwise your drip tapes might explode and for the wobblers it's going to be 25 so that's that and so these are all the valves that i'm going to set up later and these are the main valves that go on the main line where and when you buy your irrigation system, having some help for the design and having, making sure that you have all the pieces saves you a lot of time. I work with Dubois uh, here in Quebec, but they deliver throughout North America and they've made systems like these many, many, many times. So they can help you out and then you could piece all the parts with them on, on a plan before you order them. And that's gonna save you a big headache because sometimes finding the, the, the right fitting for three quarter, one inch, one and a quarter inch, two inch, finding everything sometimes is complicated.
All right, so now when we're priming the pump, so this means that we're putting water inside the pump and we'll need that when we're gonna start it. Okay. Now we'll see. Okay. So happy we had it on the first yeah, try. Yeah. Really excited, I have to say, because it's been it's been cold and suddenly boom, like summer's in and then everything needs to be watered at the same time. And the well on the old mill, you know, we have the kitchen, we have the rooms, we have a lot of stuff on the well. And so we were fighting for the water and it got to be critical. So boom. Yeehaw. So for anyone that doesn't know much about installing pipes in the ground, or installing pipes per se, pretty straightforward. We have these plastic pipes, they're 75 PSI. So, you know, they won't explode. And they'll, they'll be going in the ground. And, and then this is a great cutter for this kind of piping. It really works um, amazing. And then anytime that I'm putting a coupler, what I do first is I heat it. So I heat the plastic. It's gonna help to lube it so that it get, comes in easier, but most importantly, when I tighten in afterward, you'll see that the plastic melts just a little bit. So now it makes it easy to put it in. So I usually carry this uh, screwdrivers, but also the drill because the drill will really, will really make it work, will tighten it. The impact drill. And you see how the plastic melts just a little bit and that really secures the collar. You don't want to overburn it, but that's a good trick. So this will go in. All right, and then this will go over it. The box is going to be like flush at the ground level and it's gonna kind of just make sure that no one runs on the valves, trips on them. And again, this is super homemade, but it's gonna work. At La Grelinette, we use tires, but it's not as aesthetic, so I'm taking the minute to make these little boxes. So I really feel for all the growers out there that are dealing with drought and, and climate change, basically, and, and like if farming's not already hard enough. And, and really, honestly, everyone, you can get the, you know, you can buy the best irrigation system out there, but if the water source is not the right one, it really ends up to nothing. And there's a lot to learn and say about that. If you wanna learn how we manage drought, you can click on the video on the screen. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time. JM out.